Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich, deliver us from an inordinate love of this world, that inspired by the devotion of your servant Eva Lee Matthews, we may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated for the, the scriptures. The first lesson, a reading from Micah. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with tens of thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul. He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us recite Psalms 96 responsibly by half verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations. And his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth.
please be, please be, oh wait, the gospel, sorry. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who has built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like foolish men who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we, oh please be seated. Today we honor Eva Leith Matthews, who was born on February 9th, 1862, in Glendale, Ohio. Her father was Thomas Stanley Matthews, a justice on the United States Supreme Court. Eva attended Wesley College, but did not graduate. From a young age, Matthews was concerned with helping others. She was a devout member of the Episcopal Church. In 1891, Matthews spent some time in Omaha, Nebraska, helping the poor and teaching children at a parochial school. She left Omaha in 1894, and in 1895, she traveled with her brother to Palestine. Upon her return to the United States, Matthew authored a book, A Little Pilgrimage to Holy Places, which she recounted her trip. In 1896, Matthews relocated to Cincinnati, Ohio, where she worked at the Bethany Mission House, an Episcopal charitable organization designed to help the less fortunate residents of Cincinnati. It was at this time that Matthews and her co-worker, Beatrice Henderson, decided to create a new Episcopal religious order. The purpose of this order was to assist Cincinnati's poor, especially the children. On August 6th, 1898, Episcopal Church officials formally recognized Matthews and Henderson's order, formally naming the group the Community of the Transfiguration. At this time, Matthews formally became a nun, and she became known as Sister Eva Mary. The Community of the Transfiguration remained in Cincinnati for only a short time. The order soon relocated to Glendale, Ohio, Matthew's childhood home. The order grew slowly, but by the 1920s, the community of the Transfiguration had members engaged in char charity work in China, Hawaii, Painesville, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and Woodlawn, Ohio. Matthew served as the leader of the community of the Transfiguration until her death on July 6th. 1928. Today, the Mother House is in Ohio, which serves as the center of ministries and the home of the Order's Bethany School. The Order also operates a spiritual center and St. Monica's Recreation Area in a nearby underprivileged neighborhood. The Sisters of the Community of Transfiguration live under the evangelical councils of poverty, chastity, and obedience, and pray the divine office four times each day. In addition to their main house in Ohio, the sisters also operate service missions 
in California, Northern Ohio, and the Dominican Republic. The motto of the, the, motto of the sisters is Benitas Simplicitas Hilaritas, Latin for kindness, simplicity, and joy. Name before God those for whom we wish to pray. Let us offer our prayers for God's healing, saying, Hear and have mercy. Holy God, source of health and salvation, Hear and have mercy. holy and mighty, wellspring of abundant life. Holy, immortal one, protector of the faithful. Holy Trinity, the source of all wholeness. Blessed Jesus, your holy name is medicine for healing and promise of eternal life. Jesus, descendant of David, you healed all who came to you in faith. Jesus, child of Mary, you embrace the world with your love. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, divine physician, you sent your disciples to preach the gospel and heal in your name. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, our true mother, you feed us the milk of your compassion. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, son of God, you take away our sin and make us whole. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, eternal Christ, your promised spirit renews our hearts and minds. Hear and have mercy. Grant your grace to heal those who are sick, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give courage and faith to all who are disabled through injury or illness, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Comfort, relieve, and heal all sick children. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give courage to all who await surgery. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Support and encourage those who live with chronic illness. We pray to you, O God. Strengthen those who endure continual pain and give them hope, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Grant the refreshment of peaceful sleep to all who suffer, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Befriend all who are anxious, lonely, despondent, or afraid, we pray to you, O God. Restore those with mental illness to clarity of mind and hopefulness of heart. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give rest to the weary and hold the dying in your loving arms. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Help us to prepare for death with confident expectation and hope of Easter joy. We pray to you, O God. Hear and Give your wisdom and compassion to health care workers that they may minister to the sick and dying with knowledge, skill, and kindness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Uphold those who keep watch with the sick. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Guide those who search for the causes and cures of sickness and disease. We pray to you, O God. Hear Jesus, Lamb of God, Hear and have mercy. Jesus, bearer of our sins, Hear and have mercy. Jesus, redeemer of the world, Hear and have mercy. living God, breathe your spirit upon us and surround us with your love. 
giving Jesus, grant us your compassion. Healing Spirit, come and bring us peace. Spirit of the living God, present with us now, enter your body, mind, and spirit, and heal you of all that harms you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you would like to receive anointing for healing and prayer, would you come forward, please? Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of, the Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the night, by the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, merciful God, God. We, we confess, confess that, that we have, have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what, what we have done and by what, what we have left, left undone. We have, have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the, the glory, glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
The offertory sentence is ascribed to the Lord, the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks of grace. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. In the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. 
Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country wherewith the, blessed, the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Eva, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of, the, of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has caught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we give you praise and thanks for this holy communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption. And we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen us, and everlasting salvation. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now that may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God.